Hey, most people don't know how to 10X their income. They're average, but they don't want to be average. And I'm guessing you don't want to either. I'm going to show you how the average insurance agent earns $50,600 per year and how you can 10X your income and earn $506,000 as an insurance agent. Most insurance agents, a couple things real quick. Most insurance agents think small. We've got a sign on our wall down at the front of our office that says, think big. This is small, this is big, right? Now we got that cleared up, okay? Outside of thinking small, most insurance agents won't invest in their practice. They wanna only work the warm market, cold call, cold door knock. They don't wanna spend any money. They wanna only do networking. The insurance agents that are doing it big, not only are they thinking big, but they're investing in their business by finding ways to get better at marketing. We've got a company that manages, a half, just manages, we've got multiple companies, but just our marketing company manages a half a million dollars a month in advertising spend. And that was an older number, maybe bigger now, because we're showing agents how to 10X their income by Google advertising, driving inbound calls, Facebook ads, recruiting other people, YouTube ads, building websites, SEO, long-term traffic, short-term traffic, organic, by marketing and using digital marketing in today's era. So when you think about a half a million bucks, what's that look like for you? Because right, if you break it down, that's about $40,000 Per month. Yeah, it's a little more. You get an extra, you got an extra twenty-six thousand dollars in change. So let's just call it, let's just call it forty-two thousand. Forty-two thousand dollars per month. That is ten thousand. That is ten thousand five hundred dollars per week. That is two thousand one hundred dollars per business day if you worked five business days per week. This number seems huge. This number seems ridiculous. That seems a little better, but that seems within reach. I mean, if the average insurance agent would just average, let's just call it, I mean, let's just say that you had two cells, right? That means you would need 1,050 in AP. That means your monthly premium would need to be about 800 and we got another 90 bucks, about 800 and we'll just call it 808 dollars. I'm sorry. Let's just call it eight. Let's just call it 88 bucks in monthly premium. We'll get close enough. All right. You can do the math and you can make fun of me in the comments below. Okay. 80 bucks in monthly premium. That's not as difficult as you think. So if you do the math, really what you need is 10 cells per week. And if your monthly premium, if you're selling like smaller life insurance policies or a bunch of baby little diaper doo-doo terms or final expense, then maybe yours is smaller and you gotta do different math. But let's take this, right? I teach a system called set, sit, and sell. So that means you would need to set 20 plus appointments per week sit down and ask, Betty, would you like to give me money 15 plus per week and sell 10 plus per week? And then all of a sudden, that doesn't seem as daunting and crazy as you think. Most people think too small, most people don't invest, and most people don't have the marketing in place to drive enough leads for that to be reality. We generate between ma managing leads for clients, selling them to agents, our own other companies, I bet we generate probably about two and a half million leads a year. And I could be, I could be off, right? I'm gonna throw out a number, it's not exact. But if that's 2.5 million leads, do you think that we can teach you and show you how to set 20 appointments a week? Absolutely. I mean, these are weekly numbers. So let's just say that you book Let's just say that you book at a 40%, right? 
let's just say that you book at a 40% rate. That means that you need, that you means you need to set 20, but that means that you need 50 leads. 40% of 50 is 20 plus points a week. So in that case, most of you want to make a half a million bucks. Most of you are making 50,600 bucks on average. Some are making 100 grand and you think you're just hot crap and you're doing amazing. But if you're not getting 50 leads a week, that would probably be why you are unable to 10x your income thus far. It's math. That's the biggest thing that I teach is you have to do the math. Everything is a numbers game. And, the, and you're like, well, dude, I make $200,000 a year. Great. You probably don't get 50 to 100 leads a week. You're like, well, now I get 30. Well, fantastic. Imagine if you had 60. Maybe you'd make half a million. So, so I want you to think about in your business, what can you do right now to 10 exit, to grow, to blow it up, to think bigger. We were not put on this earth to do anything average or normal. We were meant to do something great. And I know that if you'll do the math, if you'll invest money, because the only reason that you won't invest money in your business is because you aren't confident in your ability. I invest money in me and our team because I am confident that we will deliver. If we don't deliver, it wasn't the investment fault, it was my fault. Right? When you invest money and you don't get the ROI you wanted, it's your fault. You should have been better. You should have worked harder. You should have followed harder. You should have closed better. And when you start to think like that, things start to change instead of blaming everybody else. Right? That's the second step. The third step is you have to be consistent. Most insurance agents are not consistent. Most insurance agents complain, whine, blame other people. Oh, I spent $500 last week. I didn't get anything yet. It's been 72 hours. I haven't made a dime yet. Why would I invest another $500? Well, the problem was you invested $500 to begin with. You should have invested $5,000. Most people in our business, that's what they do. Do you think people that earn $50,600 a year in the insurance business have these massive, creative, big thinking brains and they're going to conferences and events and they're masterminding and they're getting around influential people. I'm going, I've been to, I go to events like nonstop. I'm going to another event this weekend. I'm going to another office next week. I'm going to, I'm going to 10 X. we got 8% coming up. I just got back from SWAT in Dallas. Just got back from a, the kickoff party in St. Louis, right? I love getting around because what Berg talks about, he's going to be speaking at 8% nation this year. That's the conference that is helping insurance agents is that majority of people aren't driven or maybe they are, but it's just not activated. Well, I know that my drive is activated when I get around influential people. And when I get around influential people, this, these numbers start to seem small. I start to do the math. I start to invest in my business. I start to become more consistent. And in adding to all that, I engross in learning. I'm in the middle of writing a book right now. And I read other books. I listen to other books. I watch YouTube videos nonstop because I realize that most, most of us, most of us have an ego problem. Most of us have a pride problem. Most of us think that we are it. I'm telling you, we must not be because the average insurance agent makes 50,600 bucks. We need to be more humble and realize, let's take or put our ego aside. We can do more. You can do better. You can, in fact, 10x your income. Right? Whether it be through personal production or recruiting, doesn't matter. You can get there, but most of us aren't. So I want, I want this to be a wake-up call for you. Right? I just heard about a gentleman he's waking up at 3 a.m. He's, he's, he's busting his butt. He's doing everything he can because most people aren't disciplined enough. And so if you think about how do I tax my income? How do I earn a half a million bucks? How do I scale up my insurance business? The answers are in front of you. You know the answers most of the time. But at this point, you've got to ask yourself, Am I doing all I can? Or maybe write out some things that you can do better and improve. And maybe 2020 is that year that it's different for you. Maybe 2021 is that year that it's different for you. Maybe 2022 is that year that it's different for you. And maybe you're tired of playing small. I'm 29, I'm almost 30. I don't wanna look back when I'm 39 and, and, and starting to get gray hair or whatever happens when you're getting 39. And I do not want to have regrets. I don't wanna play small anymore and I want to leave it all on the field. So over these next 10 years, what are you going to do to 10x your income, 
to blow everything out of the water and to start thinking on a different level. Hey, if you love this video, you want to 10X your income, I got another video that you're going to love. Is selling insurance a good career opportunity? Amazing. A lot of stories in there. You're going to love it. Click on that video and I'll see you there. I want you to ask yourself, do I want financial freedom? Do, do I want to earn CEO money without having to climb the corporate ladder? Do I want to better choose what I do?